Hey everyone, my name is Tori and today's video is going to be my June empties and Leo has decided he wanted to make a guest appearance in this video. This is my pug Leo, it's my co-host. So say hello to the people. So if you hear any snorting or snoring, that's him. <laughs> Okay, so I don't have that many products to talk about. I did not go through as many products this month as I usually do. Um, I don't know, sometimes I'll have like months where I don't have a lot of things and I'll have months where I like somehow accumulate a ton of stuff. So this month is kind of a lighter month on empties. So go ahead and get started. Uh, my first thing here is a shower gel from Bath & Body Works. This is in the fragrance Lavender and Spring Apricot. And I really enjoyed this fragrance. I've had it for a while. It came out in a spring collection, I think. A couple years ago, I may have gotten it at a semi-annual sale. The notes are lavender, apricot, apple, magnolia, and cashmere wood. So it's very, it's just, it's like a clean, fruity lavender, um, but it's very fresh. It has a little bit of a floral feel to it. It just, it smells so good. It, I just, I love this fragrance in the springtime. I actually think this may have been my last one. So I don't know if this is still available, but if you see it, let me know. So I would love to repurchase it. Next thing in here is by the brand Aveeno, and this is the Daily Moisturizing Body Wash. And I believe my mom may have gotten this for me from Costco, like in a four pack or something like that. Um, I really love this, this body wash because it's just so hydrating on your skin. It's very thick and very creamy, and it smells like, um, smells like, just smells like soap, like oatmeal soap. Is this fragrance? I think it's supposed to be fragrance free. I don't know if it's fragrance because of the ingredients or if there's actually fragrance in it. It doesn't necessarily say on here that it's fragrance free, um, but just something to keep in mind if you have really sensitive skin. If my skin is feeling very dry or itchy or if I'm trying to prolong the life of my self tan, this is a really great moisturizing hydrating body wash to use in the shower so would repurchase this for sure next things i have in here these are both hand soaps from bath and body works these are the gentle foaming hand soaps i have the fragrance lavender marshmallow and pink petal tea cake so lavender marshmallow is lavender vanilla marshmallow and warm amber so it's a very sweet lavender can definitely smell the lavender in it, but it's very sweet. And then the pink petal tea cake is pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. I get a, I mean, it really smells exactly the way it's described. It's like a very sweet vanilla with a little bit of rose. So both of these smell so good and they're so pretty. The, um, the lavender marshmallow has a very light lavender colored soap inside and the pink petal tea cake is a very light pink. I got both of these this year. I love the artwork on them. Like the labels are just so pretty and these come out for, um, I believe their spring collection this year. These two fragrances are also amazing in the three wick candles. Those are some of my favorite candles as well to burn during the springtime. So it's good stuff. I would definitely repurchase those. Next in here is some makeup wipes. These are the Aveeno Positively Radiant Makeup Removing Wipes. And I like these. These are fine. They have the flap on them. They don't have the plastic door that closes. I really like that on makeup white packaging. I do really like these though. I do feel like they really got my makeup off. My mom uses these makeup wipes. So she will sometimes buy them in bulk and then she'll give them to me. So I will use them. Um, not my favorite, but I would continue to use them again. So they were still nice. My favorite one is still the Yes to Cucumbers though. I don't know if anything will ever beat that. Next in here I have a deodorant, and this is by the brand La Vanilla. This is the healthy deodorant in the fragrance Fresh Vanilla Lemon. And I absolutely love this deodorant because it just smells so good. Just, it's so, it's so clean smelling. And it, it's not overpoweringly vanilla or overpoweringly lemon. It's a very soft, subtle fragrance. It is a natural deodorant. It's not going to necessarily keep you fresh all day long. Um, you are still going to sweat through it because it's not an antiperspirant. I've tried a few fragrances from this brand and this deodorant, but this is by far my favorite one. The only other natural deodorant I've tried is the Tarte one, and I liked it, but I thought that this one was just better overall for me. Kept me a little fresher, a little longer, but you still, I mean, you have to reapply. It's natural deodorant. It is what it is. Next up is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I have had this for, I, okay, I've had this for a really long time and I don't think I even realized how long it had been until I was using it the other day. It's still it still smells the same way it did the day I bought it. Like it's, it's fragranced. I used to live in Los Angeles and I bought this when I lived in LA and that was like, it's been about four years. I may have, I think I've had this for four, maybe five years. 
So there's a little bit left in the bottom, but once I thought about how long I had had it, I was like, okay, it's time. And to me, if you have like a setting spray that it's taking you four to five years to use up, you probably don't like it, you know? Or you have too many. <laughs> I don't use it to set my makeup. I used it for a while as a primer. It was fine. It didn't really do much for me. Um, and then for a while there, I was using it to wet my sponge to like blend out my under eye concealer if my concealer was really dry looking or crepey or anything like that. Works fine, but I can use a setting spray to do the same thing. So I just don't really understand the point of this product. I just couldn't find a place for it in my personal routine. So I probably won't be repurchasing it. Next up is an eye cream by the brand, I think it's Ola Henriksen. Ola Henriksen? It's the Banana Bright Eye Cream. And I use this morning and night. I really, really liked this. It smells it smells like vitamin C, kind of very citrusy. It does have a bit of a tint to it. It's kind of a yellow base, um, but I didn't really see that noticeably so when I would put it on my under eyes. It's vitamin C and collagen boosted. So, I mean, I liked it. It was fine. Um, I didn't. I don't really think it like changed my life in any type of way. Um, I would repurchase it because I enjoyed it, but I would rather try other eye creams that I feel like actually really make a difference in my under eyes, whether that means like hydration or fine lines or anything like that. So um, overall, I would recommend this, but I don't think that it changed my life, but I would buy it again. Yep. I definitely think this is more of a daytime eye cream, at least for my skin. Um, I do want something a little more hydrating if I'm going to be using it at night. So I don't know. I'm trying to find something that's in between, but I would repurchase this because I did really enjoy the product and I love anything that has vitamin C in it. Last few things in here. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Translucent Smooth Focus Press Setting Powder Shine Control Press Powder. What? This was a nice compact. It had a mirror in it and it just had a pressed finishing powder in here. It's supposed to be for shine control specifically, like mattifying. It came with this little powder puff thing. There's a little bit left in here, but once it gets to the point for me, if it's like damaging my brushes to try to like scrape the sides, it just becomes too hard to use, then I'm I'm pretty much done. I just wasn't into loose powders for the longest time because I just felt like they were so messy. So I wanted to try and see if I could find a matte setting powder that I really liked that was pressed, but I mean, this was fine. I would buy it again, maybe, but I have the, the L'Oreal Invaluable Powder that I set my foundation with that I love, and I use the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder to set my under eyes and like my T-zone and fine lines and things like that, and that works perfectly fine. So because of that, I don't think I would repurchase this, but I mean, if I had it, I would use it. To me, this is more of like a touch up on the go powder, throw in your purse kind of thing. But if I'm going to do that, I'm going to buy it from L'Oreal or Maybelline. So for that reason, probably wouldn't repurchase, but it is a really good product. Last thing in here is by the brand e.l.f. And this is the I think It's called the instant eye lift something, something brow pencil. So this is the brow pencil that I've been using for a few months now. At, well, I've not this one. I've been using a couple different ones and it has a thicker, it looks like there's some left, but it's actually because it broke off right at the end. Um, mine is in the shade taupe. It's kind of a thicker pencil marker crayon thing on the end. I like this because you don't have to sharpen it. It's a retractable pencil. If I could change some things about it, I would make the spoolie a little smaller and I would make the, um, the retractable pencil a little thinner as well. Kind of more like more of a precise, application type pencil. My favorite brow pencil is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, but it's like 20 something dollars. And for as often as I go through brow pencils, I just can't justify it. So I've been using the e.l.f. one and it's fine. It's been working perfectly fine for me. I do wish that it stayed pointier or sharper at the very end. I love this brow pencil that like for the first two applications, then after that, it gets a little bit harder to apply because it gets a little like you can just, it's very easy to apply like a really thick brow. And my brows are kind of like they're just, they taper out pretty thin towards the outside there. And it's very easy for me to kind of like overdo it, especially on the inside here, um, just because the point is so thick on this. So I'm actually going to start using a brow powder. And I actually did that today with my brows. And I, I mean, they look fine, you know? So we'll see kind of how that goes. I used to only use brow powder like back in the day. That's the only thing that I used in my brows before I got into brow pencils. So kind of want to go back and experiment with that and kind of see how that goes. But in the meantime, this brow pencil is great. It's like $2. So it's, I mean, you can't beat the price. It's fine. I'll continue to use this and repurchase it. 
Well, that's all I have for this empties video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.